Hi there, welcome to another video tour from Parker Adams Boat Sales. Um, we're out here on the lovely Hamble River today and we're going to show you this. This is a Maxim 2700 SCR Sun Cruiser and it's a 2001 model but believe me it feels like a five-year-old boat. It's had lots of upgrades over the years and we're going to show you all the features and benefits of this boat. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, let's show you the boat. Right, well the Maxim 2700 SCR um, has had a few variations over the years and this variation as you can see is the non-radar arch version of this boat. It's an open boat um, and with the two um, rails which can stay in the fixed position. So these are quite happy to stay in this fixed position and we've used this boat out at speed and um, it's very sturdy and very happy with this. Um, this also comes though with brand new, yes brand new, not even in the box, out of the box um, covers for this as well. So full camper covers and full tonneau. The tonneau we're in use at the moment but all the camper covers haven't even been out of the box yet. It's actually a brilliant upgrade and, um, and it's the same colour as the stripe down the side of the boat. Now we've got a nice, um, what colour would we call that? A nice sort of beigey grey somewhere in the middle, maybe a taupe coloured gel stripe and the covers match that. So really makes this boat feel like a new boat. It's lovely. And it's had lots of upgrades over the years. And um, one of them being um, heating. This has got actually petrol fired heating because this is a petrol boat. It's a, a Mercruiser 5.7 EFI, so a fuel injected engine on a Bravo 3 duo prop, um, which gives it really good performance for the size of boat with a petrol engine in, and it's a single engine. Um, this boat will do about 30 to 32 knots with a clean bottom and newly serviced, and a good cruising speed of around 24, 25 knots. Um, but that engine, believe it or not, was, was replaced in 2011. So it's a 2001 boat and the engine was replaced in 2011. So it's had a new upgraded engine fitted to this boat as well as well as, I don't know if you can hear it, but just behind me is the petrol fired heating running. Um, and this was fitted in 2017. So it's only a few years old and it has outlets in the cabin, but also in the cockpit area by the helm seat. And so when you've got the camper covers up and you're using it in the winter or with it open and you're using it in the winter, it keeps your feet nice and toasty. Um, really good benefit, especially um, at this time of year where actually, even though it's lovely and sunny here on the handball, it's very cold and it was all frosty here this morning. Now, the other thing, um, now we're at the back of the boat, is actually the walk-on. Um, a lot of sports boats you struggle with getting on and off from the side, um, but this one has got a nice little hangover just here, so it's easy to step on and off from the side. Nice and easy access. Um, and it's got brilliant storage as well. There's actually a nice locker storage area in here to put all your ropes and we can pop a couple of fenders in there if we want to as well um, but there are plenty of other places to store fenders so we can use fenders and ropes in here but there's plenty of other places and we'll show you them as we go around the boat um, there's also a bathing ladder fitted as well which is just down here um, and this um, unclips just on here and it slides out and we also have LED lighting. So all the nav lights have been upgraded to LED lights. So bow, starboard, um, the motoring light, and the all-round um, nav light as well. The all-round anchor light is also been upgraded over the years. Okay, so the walkway on the Maxim 2700 is it's a little step up. And um, you'll notice that there's a couple of steps up on this boat in the cockpit area. And that is um, to, to show you um, to enable you to see actually this is quite a tall boat and it's tall for a reason it's tall because it's cavernous inside and um, it's one of the biggest headroom boats that I've seen um, for this size of boat it really is something down there so we'll show you through but to start with I just want to show you this nice large door to access into the back cockpit area and all the cockpit area has removable carpets so it's all carpeted throughout and they're all removable you fasten down with poppers and we can take them up if we think we're going to have a wet boat for the day um, but otherwise um, we can have a lovely carpeted area so nice underfoot especially when the camper covers are up um, on a, a cold evening when we can have the heating on in the cockpit now here we are in the rear cockpit of the uh, Maxim 2700 SCR Sun Cruiser and this is the still the original manual for it um, and this boat comes with 
all the paperwork you would ever want for a boat of this age. Even back to the original VAT certificate, every bill of sale where it's been handed over over the years, um, even service history. So this engine was replaced in 2011, and since then the service book that came with it has been filled every year um, up to this year. And this boat will come fully serviced when we sell this. So this boat is being serviced, um, so we'll have a fresh service ready to go for the season. And um, um, and it's really good level of paperwork. It's one of the best um, levels of paperwork we've seen in a boat like this. And um, um, even the spare keys have never been used. There's covers on this that have never been used. Still. Not only the new ones, but some of the original ones. There's a, um, there's a curtain for the aft cabin and it's never been out of the packet. This really does feel like a new boat. And even the, when it regards to this upholstery, now I don't know if this upholstery has been replaced, but in my eyes it must have been because it's in such good condition for 20 years old. If it's not been replaced, someone has really, they, it's really been looked after over the years. And it's absolutely fabulous. We've got an outside cockpit table here, which of course you can remove, um, but there's lots of great ideas for storage in the cockpit area. Um, there's even a small cubby under here. Um, there's actually infill cushion for this area as well. So we can actually fill this in to make it into a, a, a sun bed. Um, and um, under here, um, this lifts up on a gas strut. And under here, we could even fit a small life raft if need be, um, but it is a good little storage area um, for use. Now, if we can um, see down, what I can do, I can just lift the engine bay and you can have a quick look at the engine. So what we're going to show you now is how easy the engine is to access. Now, a lot of boats, you have to take the upholstery apart. It's quite heavy to lift. It can be a bit awkward. Not this. Simply pull it up and great engine access. You can get at everything. Um, really good. Now let's, I'm going to pop inside now and show you around the engine bay. Okay. Right, and here we are then down in the engine bay of the Maxim 2700 SCR. And as we can see, it's got a 5.7 litre EFI. And I've had a good look around the engine, it is in very good order. And like I say, even though um, the service items are in good order and the oil still looks quite clean to me, um, so it's not done an awful lot of hours since the last service, um, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it a full service. So we'll be changing all the filters and um, changing the oil for the, for the next owner. Um, but now we're down in this engine bay, um, it, you might look at these sides and think it looks a bit untidy but Maxim actually paint this like this it has this sort of fleck in it in the paint and um, even though it looks dirty it's actually not it's actually a very clean engine bay yes there's a bit of dust and grime around but we're actually going to clean this up as well um, but down in here this boat's actually had two brand new batteries fitted in this last year um, we've got a cold water tank um, of quite a large size and we've got a hot water tank down here and um, we've also got a holding tank yes the toilet's an electric toilet on here as well which again is pretty unusual for this size of boat and it, and it pumps into an electric, um, electric toilet into a holding tank um, and also it's got a um, automatic fire extinguisher just in front of me here just out of your eyesight and um, which also can be operated from the helm and again it's unusual to have a pull for a fire extinguisher of a boat of this size. Normally they're just automatic ones in the engine bay, but you do have the option of setting it off yourself as well. Um, and other, other little added benefits in here, there's actually a double plug socket in here for 240 volt. So you can put tube heaters and things like this in the engine bay over the winter period. Um, but generally I'm very pleased with the condition of the engine and the way it all is down here. And everything works. That's one thing I haven't found is anything that doesn't work. Um, and when we're talking about upgrades, even the cockpit lights, there's an array of cockpit lights around here and there's one just to my right here and um, they're all LED and, they're, and in the evening they're actually nice and bright. So again, we've got um, a good upgrade, engines being upgraded, all the lights have been upgraded. It's actually a very good condition boat and it does feel like it's only about five years old to me. Right, so as you can see at this part of the cockpit, we can actually see there's a nice sink area. So we've got a wet bar here as well, which works lovely, as you can see. Cold water only, but that's all you need for rinsing glasses out and rinsing your hands and washing your hands of salt when you've been out, um, enjoying yourself. And um, there's a cup holder here, and again, more storage underneath. And the battery switches are actually under here as well. And the back, there's two batteries, and you've got the choice of one, two, or both style battery switch. Also though, I'm sat on this lovely lounger and this lounger is huge. Now I'm six foot and I can completely lie down on this. And again, it's unusual to see a lounger of this size 
on a boat of this size. And um, it's very comfortable. We've even got an armrest so we can sit up. And also, it's not just a lounger, is it? It's also seating. So we've got a seat back, so we can seat one, two, three, maybe even four at a push along here. And it's actually very comfortable um, seating position to be. Um, so let me just show you the, um, um, the helm area and then we can move on downstairs. As we can see, um, Maxim have done a very nice, smart design of the instrumentation. Again, it's been very thought about. And so all these um, toggle lights, they light up. And um, it's a very nice feature and we can turn them on and off very nicely. They feel very good quality. They're made of metal, they're not gonna break easily. Very good quality. And as we can see, we've got an array of options on here. Um, on, from the instrumentation point of view, we've got the usual instrumentation from temperatures to oil pressures to trim height to fuel and, um, and battery power, so alternator charging power. We've also got a speedo and a rev counter. Now the hours on here um, are showing 200 and are showing just 245 hours and the engine was actually replaced at 79 hours after 10 years um, so I think the lack of use probably had something to do with it um, but um, but it's only done 245 hours now in total so it's still quite a low houred boat um, but the engine actually runs lovely and we can get a good turn of speed out of it. Um, we also though on a 27 foot boat have a bow thruster so this is very unusual option and normally when we get to this sort of size, they will or they won't have them. Um, but a really good added benefit um, to this boat. Um, we have a depth gauge in the center and also we have a small Garmin GPS on here as well. It has an array of options on there, but it is quite a basic from a navigation point of view, but we can put waypoints in there and it tells you your position and your speed um, and um, it is quite useful. There are additional things you can do with that as well, which are quite clever, but obviously the new owner can do that. And it is also um, removable as well, so you can make it mobile as well. Um, down here we have a VHF with DSC, so this has been upgraded as well. I'm um, not sure how old it is, but it looks like you can still buy this same model now. Um, and we have two 12 volt cigarette sockets in here. So we've got options to plug in 12 volt sockets here for telephone chargers or whichever you like. And even the horn works. <laughs> Now, when we talk about storage, uh, Maxim have really thought of everywhere. And um, even on the helm seat. So this seat very simply lifts up and there's a large area to store things in. And in fact, there's even a couple of fenders down here, quite large ones at that. So we can actually get an idea of the size down here. And um, it's about a foot and a half deep. So a really nice use of space. And that easily folds down. The, you can see it's a double helm seat as well um, and with a bolster. So we do get the, um, the option of um, standing at the helm if we want to, um, or of course, sitting. So the Maxim 2700 um, doesn't have side decks to um, access through. It has a center um, access up to the fore deck, um, but it's very easy to use. Um, so as you can see, we normally close the door so we don't fall down the middle. Um, and then we have these nice two steps and then simple open up with the windscreen. And here we are. And it's got anti-slip all on the fore decks and it gives us good access all the way down to the anchor locker, um, which we'll just show you now. Okay, so up in the, um, in the anchor locker, it's actually quite interesting, which is why we're making a point of showing you. Again, bear in mind this is a small boat. Um, in here, we've got an electric windlass, which actually has foot pedal operation, and it even has a light in here. So you can, at night, it's actually lit up, um, which I don't think I've seen on, a, on any boat had the actual anchor locker being lit up. So there's a light in here. Um, this area has its own small drainage as well, so it doesn't fill up with water. And like I say, foot, for up and down motion, which is off. Hang on, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm back. And as you can see, it doesn't take long to turn it on. And there we go. Up and down motion. As we can see, it works fine. So we can use our feet or simply press it with our finger. Um, very easy to use and is a mix of, um, at the moment there's a mix of chain and rope. Don't know how long, um, but normally it's a good length of chain though, followed by rope. The other thing to point out up the front here is the two nav lights. 
and they are upgraded to LED as well. So they are LED nav lights as well. Okay. So here we are in the cabin of the Maxim 2700. And, um, and as you can see, it's huge. It's absolutely massive down here. And um, this is the biggest V lounging area that I've seen on a boat of this size. It's absolutely huge. There's so much headroom. The seats are really wide. Um, you can easily get a load of people around here and you won't feel like you're on top of each other. Um, it's a really good, brilliant use of space. Um, this can also be turned into a bed. And of course, being that it's massive, it's, it's gonna be a huge bed. I reckon you get about 10 people lying down on top of each other in here. And uh, it's just a, it's an almighty large area. Um, but again, there's loads of space. So we can get infills to put in here, which come with the boat. Um, but under here are two large um, spaces to store stuff. And um, there's even storage. Um, there's access to a bow thruster there, but there's storage underneath here um, and underneath there as well. There's storage under here and there's storage under here as well. And under here is where we found the outside cockpit carpets. Um, and um, we've got two speakers at the back there and obviously it's, it's lit up as well. Um, it's really nice use of space up here, really like it. Now this boat though, um, size wise, I'm gonna talk about this at the end, but we might as well do it while we're here when we're talking about size. Um, it's actually 28 foot. So it's 28 foot long. Now I'm reading it from the American book, so it's all American. So what I mean by that is it's in feet and gallons, where we like, what, meters and liters. Big enough to bear with me. So, um, so the overall length is 28 foot. Um, the length rigged is 29 foot two. So I'm assuming that means with anchor and such like as well. Um, it's 7,475 pounds in weight and it has a beam of nine foot six. Um, the draft though is one foot 10 inches, which seems ridiculous to me. Um, but, um, but that's the draft of the hull, but the maximum draft, including the drive leg is three foot two. So, um, and the bridge clearance, I'm assuming that's without the rails, so that's probably to the top of the windscreen, um, is seven foot three. So if we're gonna have it on the rivers, it's be worth bearing that in mind. We have a fuel capacity of 89 gallons, a waste tank capacity of 20 gallons, and a fresh water capacity of 30 gallons. Um, so all in all, um, we're gonna to have to do some conversions there, but we can work out um, where we are with it. But as I say, it's, um, it's one of the most spacious boats um, that I've been in of this size. And um, yeah, this is, again, this is a really good use of space. Um, and I don't know if it's too close for the camera now, but I'm six foot. If I stand up, there's still loads of headroom above me here. And, uh, and again, it just gives you an idea then um, of the size of it down here. But we'll do a switcheroo and I'll show you the other parts in this cabin. Right, so here we are then in the other part of the um, cabin, which is the sort of galley double area. So it has a part galley this side and a part galley this side. Now this side, um, we've got a nice worktop surface, a cubby area in here. There's actually um, a treble 12 volt um, um, cigarette plugs in here. And one of them is actually for the television. So it's a 12 volt television. So we can use this when we're not on shore power. Um, and as you can see, Emmerdale's just started. So, um, um, is it afternoon? Oh, I it was on the evening. Must be, uh, must be the omnibus. Right, so, um, and of course we've got storage up in here as well, which is very deep and it's good storage. It's just flat surface, but we can reach all the way to the back. There's quite a lot of room in here. Um, we've also got the um, um, smoke alarm, which works up on there. Thank you. Oh. So that works nicely up there. And, um, um, and of course, not forgetting our fridge, which has a little bar to stop the door opening at sea. And there we go, a nice little fridge in here, which I put it on about 10 minutes ago and it's already feeling nice and cold. Um, so that works well. And as we go over to the other side, we can see we've got a nice single sink, stainless steel. Um, and as you can see here, we've got a, a single burner hob um, from Dometic. Um, in lovely condition, hardly looks used at all. Um, and the lid actually quite clever because it holds itself in position. It doesn't fall down. You actually have to physically lift 
and then shut it so it doesn't accidentally fall down when you're in use. Um, the other thing is where we've got two cupboards, um, one on the left here, um, which is just storage, but the one on the right is actually three drawers. Um, so you probably can't see it, but there's actually three drawers here. Um, and, um, and again, very good use of space. And there's actually a switch here to put the hot water on and off. So we can actually turn the hot water on and off um, um, from this point here. And um, that just then heats up the water in the hot water tank. Um, where's actually a porthole here for light to come in over the gate, which is really nice. But again, it has space in here for storage, um, as well as a couple of shelves in there. Um, top cupboard, yep, it's just storage. And then next to here is a digital microwave. Again, this doesn't look original. It looks to me like this has been upgraded over the years. Um, it's a nice stainless steel finish digital one, um, and which works fine. And we've got a, a fire blanket here as well. Um, so moving back all the way to the rear, um, there's a hanging space cupboard here. And um, we can actually, there's a couple of hangers in there already. Um, and I'd say you actually put the stuff in that way. So you don't put it in that way, you put it in that way. So we've got enough for probably three or four uh, coats in here. When it doesn't all fall down. And there we go. And then above that, um, we've got a Sony head unit, which has got Bluetooth and a USB. Um, and then we've got our usual um, mains 240 electric options um, from the, um, the plugs to the hot water, to the microwave, to the battery charger, etc., etc. Um, but again, easy access so we can turn stuff on and on, off and on quite happily. Right, so here we are in the head and, um, and the over six foot headroom extends into here as well. And again, um, normally on a boat of this size, normally I find it struggle to go into the heads and with the headroom. But here, again, I'm six foot and I've still got another inch above my head. So a good six foot one here. Um, but again, it's unusual because this actually has a shower curtain that goes all the way around. Um, so you can enclose yourself in here with a shower curtain and there's a, um, a shower mount on the wall as well. And um, that enables you to have a proper shower in here without getting everything wet. Um, again, it's pretty unusual for this size of boat. Um, the toilet is here, um, the head's here, and um, it's actually electric flush. So it's seawater flush, but it is electric flush. And again, that's a really nice added benefit to a boat of this size. Um, we've got a usual sink with storage underneath with hot and cold water. And we also have a mirrored cupboard at the top here with double doored with storage inside as well. Um, but again, it's very clean in here, very nice and tidy. And um, yeah, it's just in great condition for the age of the boat. Well, here we are in the um, sleeping quarters. I suppose we call it a mid cabin, half cabin. Um, but um, yeah, again, it's um, it's quite different from a lot of boats of this size because again, because of the headroom. So here I am sat up and we've got massive and massive amounts of headroom. Um, there's also a window in front of me into the cockpit area, which actually slides open. Um, and it's got a mosquito net on it as well. There's also two curtains that drop down so we can block off that light as well. As well as there's two lights, two reading lights above my head. Um, so we can sit up and read, have a coffee. It's actually lovely. There's a little shelf back here. And believe it or not, there's more storage behind here as well. Um, so we can pop bits and pieces in there. Um, this does come with a curtain that goes across as well. It's not fitted. Um, I haven't fitted it because it's brand new, still in the packet from the original. Um, so it just seems a shame to get it out. Um, we'll let the, the new owner decide whether or not they uh, want to take that out of the packet or not. Um, but it does come across and it just poppers onto a rail. Um, and then onto here. But even if it's poppered on, it will still slide back and forth. It's designed for that. Um, but the mattress itself is actually a proper mattress, as you can see, and this is a proper double. So it's a proper double size here, um, obviously with the backboard. Um, but also, if I lie down flat, um, so that's me lying down. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go all the way down so my feet touch the end and we get an idea how much we've got. So I'm gonna go, there we go. So that's me with my feet flat against the back, completely straight leg. So we can see is actually quite a good a room. Now remember I'm six foot exactly. Um, so we've got a good amount of space here. Um, it's all, um, all the ceilings are lined, all the walls are lined, and um, we've got good lining on the side here. So it's padded all the way along the starboard side. Um, down at the end 
it's all lined as well um, and there's three sort of openings there on velcro and that just gives you access to inside the um, the depths of the boat so there's, there's there's not really much to show in there apart from the um, the petrified heater is fitted in behind there um, but again it's a massive space and even underneath here you don't feel like you're crawling down into like um, some boats feel really claustrophobic this doesn't it's actually very high it comes to here so you can almost sit up underneath here um, it's a uh, in fact I think you can yeah, you can sit up down the other end so if you wanted to sleep the other way round, you could and you can still sit up down that end um, it's actually really tall and that's given by the extra height of the side sidewalls of the boat so it really does give you that extra space that you want in a cabin for a for effectively a 28 29 foot boat it's really good size Okay, and this was the Maxim 2700 SCR Sun Cruiser. Um, and as you can appreciate now, it's a fantastic boat. And um, we're actually um, putting this on the market as of this next week. So it's um, and we're towards the end of January now. Um, so it's brand new to the market. And um, I'm sure you'll appreciate that um, the condition of this boat really shows throughout. And I'm sure it won't hang around for long. Um, so thank you for watching this video tour from Parker Adams Boat Sales. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, but check out our other boats to, for sale at parker-adams.co.uk. And we're also on Facebook and Instagram. So please follow us on Facebook and check out our pictures on Instagram. Um, but again, thank you for viewing and see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.